so welcome come on in grab a seat get you a drink and let's go over my June favorites for this month so uh, there's a couple of things that I have favorites um, one of the things that one of the things that I have really loved this month is well not really this month I, I just love this in general is the Marc Jacobs Uso Fresh this is a special edition because you know you have the Uso Fresh that has like the white yellow and like the I guess the champagne I'm looking at it over there the champagne flowers but this one has like pink and you know you see the teal the white flowers <sighs> now I thought I was in love with the Uso Fresh uh, however I love this edition at first I thought it was the same thing. My sister's like, oh, you can buy two the same thing. But, you know, when I got home and, you know, we were checking the smells and then this is not the same thing. This is... I don't know. It just... I don't know why I did that. Should have put it... I mean, it's floral, but it also has a little bit of citrus in there. And I think that's really what sets it apart from the Uso Fresh, um, which is really floral. Um, but this is has a bit of citrus in there as well and something else which I don't know is really really lovely I absolutely love it but anyway I purchased this from TJ Maxx I did not pay regular price I do not like paying regular price for perfume if I can possibly help it so I will always walk into TJ Maxx and go through the handbags jewelry and then move right on to the um, you know fragrance cosmetic section and I wasn't really looking for anything in particular but I found this bad boy and I was like oh, I gotta have it so um, this is like the larger size I believe that um, Marc Jacobs has for the Uso Fresh and two and a half fluid ounces uh, but it was like $24.99 $29.99 something like that it was less than 30 bucks so it was a great deal. So I really have been loving the NARS Illuminators lately. Um, this is the Orgasm and I also have the Coco Cabana. Um, I think the Coco Cabana is what I probably should have used for the strobing look. Um, I think it would have been really good uh, for that underneath the makeup. And what I've been doing is mixing it with the foundation, kind of like the luster drops. So I used it um, with the NARS uh, a luminous all day what is it an luminous all day foundation so I use that today with the luminous foundation for the strobe look and I don't know I love it so it's a really good product um, you get 1.1 ounces I picked this up at Sephora one thing I have also been using this month is the makeup forever 12 flash color palette and I've had it for a while uh a while meaning like two years or more anyway it was like one of those birthday gifts to myself i had been eyeing it for a while i went in there uh in sephora looking for a coral lipstick when that was like the rave and i couldn't find one so the lady suggested you know well why don't you just get this i mean you can like you know it has a coral in there she said you can you know use that coral or you can use a couple of colors and she put a couple of colors together and she actually created you know the coral look for me you know uh, a deeper coral look and I was like oh my goodness I want that case so then I bought it and then I didn't do anything with it and then <laughs> you know I was using one of the other palettes and where I was like you know what I am going to make myself you know use this palette I'm gonna make myself go one by one and these things that I either regrets or things that you know I just didn't know how to use or just have and they're sitting there I'm gonna make myself use them so that's what I did and I started using this for eyeshadow bases which has been amazing uh, especially the Blanco the white one and I'm um, using an angle liner with the, these as well and creating like a gel liner effect or using them underneath you know as a liner as a base for and then adding like the eyeshadow with the angle liner which is like perfect so I mean that'll definitely you know prevent me from having to buy you know other eyeliners and things like that I can kind of work with what I have um, but anyway in here you have a gold silver um, then you have a coral white turquoise uh, rouge or red and then you have fuchsia 
blue, yellow, and leaf green, or I like to think army green. And then there is a brown, a maroon, and a black. So, so many different things you can do with this. This is like the primary one um, for primary colors, and then there's another one that's a little bit darker, um, which seems to be like perfect for lipstick colors and stuff. I have been eyeing it, and I even put that on my, you know, my love's wish list for Sephora, but then... I have to start using this first before I go buy anything else similar to this. So I don't know. I guess with more clients and stuff like that, that would be perfect for uh, lipstick. So if you are MUA, then I would definitely recommend getting this as well as the second one. I mean, you can do Halloween effects, you know, artistry. You can do so much with either of those, but primarily this particular one right here. I know I recently bought these, the LA Splash lipsticks, and then. You know, I did a video on those, but this Latte Confessions is amazing. I love, love, love this. Um, but anyway, it's like a favorite, like my favorite love, love, love it. Okay, the next favorite that I have is my Mia, Clarisonic Mia. Um, I don't really, yeah, Mia too, I was about to say. I don't really know which one this is. But, uh, yes, I've had this for a while. I've been using it. Uh, for a while, I wasn't using it consistently. But I've got back into the hang of it and using it consistently. And I feel like it does make a difference. You know, the more products you put on your face, the more diligent and the more products you need to actually remove makeup. You know, I just really, you know, with putting moisturizers, primers on, and then you're putting foundation, concealers, and correctors and everything, and it's like packing those deeper 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 into your skin you need something to really lift that out um and so it's important to use mask and it's important to use uh tonics or you know things like that to really 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 reach in deep and pull that stuff out um that's probably another thing that was affecting like the breakouts and stuff like that um it's just me being consistent with those products so you know i'm determined now i'm really going to get consistent and make sure i you know keep up with you know my face yet and uh you know it's nothing like some nice beautiful skin nothing like it but anyway this is my mia um i actually uh did not go into ulta support anything like that i purchased this on qvc uh in installments which i love doing installments for some reason i do so if i can find some installments and believe it or not they do have makeup i don't buy makeup like that on this um, because I feel like I want it like right now, you know, I feel like I've got to go in, I got to touch it, I got to see it. Um, however, you know, all kind of things on there, you know, cameras, laptops, whatever. So anyway, this is my Mia too. Uh, and oh my goodness, I forgot coconut oil so coconut oil has been like you know my thing I've been using some of the natural oils um castor oil which I'm running low on um I'll tend to use that more in the winter um because it is so thick but the coconut oil and this is the organic expel expel pressed uh, refined coconut oil and I believe I purchased this either from TJ Maxx or Publix. I'm not 100% sure which one I purchased it from. Um, I want to say TJ Maxx, but again, I'm not 100% sure. Anyway, um, I've been using this for um, conditioner, uh, for my hair, um, all kind of things I've been using this for. So, uh, but lately it's really been either my, you know, my skin and then my hair. So I have been loving that in my hair. Um, some of the other products are a little bit heavier and they tend to weigh my hair down a little bit and I hate that especially if I'm sweating uh, I don't want to scratch my scalp and then come up with grease I just I don't like that but um, with this my hair absorbs this really quickly uh, so it's not really saturating your your scalp and clogging up you know your your follicles and things like that so it's very natural and I don't know um, it's just something that I've been using like more and more and more but anyway, that's pretty much it. I didn't have a whole lot of favorites. Um, you know, I do have some new products and stuff like that. So, you know, I have been, uh, you know, trying those new products and stuff out. 
and you know who knows whether they'll make the favorite lips or not um but anyway um that is it for this video so i hope you enjoyed this favorites video um please thumbs up if you like to see more of the favorites things like that um i do want to bring to you a video um, basically regrets so I'm kind of stacking stuff up now so if you would love to see that please throw a comment below if there's any video requests that you have definitely comment throw a comment below and I'll be uh, sure to bring those videos if I possibly can so thank you again for watching your support and see you next time